What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I am back with another Fortnite video and today I bring you what in my opinion are 5 of the best landing spots for that easy fast loot to give you guys a great start to your games. But before we get into that guys, I am giving away 2800 beautiful V-Bucks. To be in with a chance of winning, simply subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button to turn notifications on, leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below. Winners are picked on a weekly basis and contacted via direct message on YouTube. So good luck to those who are trying to win. Okay, so there really isn't any specific location on the map which guarantees you amazing loot. Most, if not all, locations have a chance in dropping new loot. So to me, it isn't really about the best spots as there really isn't any. It's about the safest spots for you to go to where more chests spawn, giving you more of a chance of getting said loot. That's what these spots are about. I will say, matches play out differently, the bus travels in different rotations every game. Some games you might see people in these spots, some you won't. What I'd suggest is though, avoid any spot I mentioned today where the bus takes a direct route over it or near it. But if the bus doesn't take a route over said locations, use them to your benefits. Okay so first up we have a little place called Moisty Mire. This is located in the bottom left of the map. Now this place is a little open, there ain't much buildings here for you to loot, but on a good spawn you will find chests all over the place. I've been here about 20 times in the past few days and almost every single time I have landed here there's always been loads of chests to loot out of. Now like I said you will sometimes get the odd person landing here too, but if you get to the loot first it's easy pickings it really is. So Moisty Mire is the first spot I suggest you guys try to give yourself a great start to a match. The next spot I use on a regular basis, depending on where the bus travels, is this little area here, just northeast of Anarchy Acres, and it beholds around four houses in close proximity, and these houses can be loaded with loot, sometimes each containing one or more chests, so this is definitely a great place to come as a team. You split up and go to one house each and gather that loot, gather the materials, and you'll give yourself a great advantage going into the game. This is actually a spot I've used since starting playing Battle Royale and I still rarely see people come here. It's definitely the place the least populated I will feature today, but it is also one of the furthest points from what can sometimes be the circle if located on the other side of the map. This can lead to a lot of running so keep that in mind.
Next up we have a spot which a while back I wouldn't have suggested you guys use as a starting area to gather loot and materials but it seems as though this place has now become kind of disowned. Rarely anyone goes here anymore and this place is Junk Junction. Now Junk Junction was once very popular outside of the centre areas but nowadays every time I visit this place I rarely ever see anyone else here. The crazy thing is though this place is loaded with chests and I mean absolutely loaded. What's better yet is it's also home to loads of easy metal which obviously is the best building material. Now like the rest of these spots today I will play footage of certain locations these chests spawn in so you guys know where to look. This junk junction is also another great spot for team modes too so use it and do what you gotta do guys. Next up we have a little lonely place on the right side of the map called Lonely Lodge. Now until recently I stayed clear of this place, not because of how popular it was, because it wasn't, I just didn't think it offered much in terms of sources of loot. But upon using this spot for the past week, my mind has been completely changed. The tower alone can hold up to 3 chests and it's this spot you want to head to first, so search this tower then seek out other loot from the various buildings around this lonely lodge area. Honestly guys this is one of my new favourite spots for sure, it's always full of great loot whenever I visit this place. Obviously though don't go here if the bus's flight path goes directly over it because then this zone will be deadly and everyone will be fighting out for that loot for sure. So yeah guys check out this spot the next time you play, if it's clear I'm pretty sure you'll go here and love it.
Now the last spot I will show you guys is definitely one of the more dangerous ones here as it can sometimes be populated. It's never too clustered, but there are sometimes that are teams which will also land in here with you. Now this specific spot doesn't actually have an area name, but you can see it via the map on screen now of exactly where it's located. Just look for that orange bridge and it's basically the mountain or hilltop next to it. Now up here is home to a single house, which can be hold a chest, but it's the house's surroundings which are better here. You can have up to four chests spawn here at a single time, one in the basketball court, one behind the basketball court, and two near the bridge. There's also loot inside the house, loot inside the crate, loot at the basketball court. So there's plenty of loot here for sure. Now this spot me and my team always use. Now because of this, I normally visit the house just below it, which rarely anyone ever goes to. So if you plan on using this spot, playing solos or duos, and you see other teams landing up here, go to this house just below it. This house alone almost certainly all the time has a chest within it, but there are other various spots within this small house which behold that juicy loot. So this is a great place to start a match at. These two places together, the hilltop and the side building, guarantee you a great start to a game. It's also located near many popular places too, such as Salty Springs and Fatal Fields. So it's a great spot to quickly farm and get straight into the action, if that's what you guys like to do. And guys, that is it. What in my opinion at the moment are some of the best places you can visit at the start of a match to prepare yourself for the battle which awaits. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right.